Okay, so question three. Paula wants to find out how much money people spend buying CDs and she uses this question on a questionnaire. How much money do you spend buying CDs? And we've got a tick box system here. We're asked to write down two things wrong with this question. Um, well, what happens if you don't buy CDs at all? I certainly don't buy CDs in this day and age. Uh, MP3s all the way. Uh, so there's no option for anything less than £10. So what would I tick? So, so I'm going to say one of the things wrong is that there is... Uh, there is no option for less than £10. And another problem that we can see is that, well, what happens if I spend uh, £30 a week? Which box do I tick? So what we can say is that... Um, the tick boxes uh, overlap. Okay, let's see what the next question is. Okay, Paula asks 100 people in a CD store to do her questionnaire and it says her sample is biased. Why? Well, if you ask people in a CD store how many, uh, how many CD, uh, how much money did I spend buying CDs? What would you be doing in a CD store if you weren't there to buy CDs? So, people in a CD store obviously are there to buy CDs. Uh, so I'm just going to say that she asks people. Only in a CD store. And if you ask the people in the CD store, what would you be doing in there in the first place if you weren't there to buy CDs? So she, uh, she asked people only in a CD store. Okay, 